Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a big lithium ion battery charging station. This station has many features and I'm pretty much sure you have not seen this kind of project on YouTube. Because this charging station is completely different, it can charge 10 cells at a time and it comes with overcharging protection and also it can check each battery's voltage and also you can monitor how much power it consumes. And in this video, a little surprise for you, so stay tuned. Before we can get started, first of all, we have to design the PCB and here you can see the 3D model of our PCB and after generating the garbage file, now it's time to order our PCB. And I'm going to order my PCB from all PCB because all PCB is the world fastest PCB manufacturer. And here you can get our first PCB prototype for only one dollar. And if you will join through my link, then first hundred people will get ten dollar coupon. So link in the description. Grab this offer and make your project more professional with all PCB. Only you have to upload the garo file, select the quantity, choose your color, and simply check out. You can download the garo file. Link in the description. After placing the order, I have received my PCB within one week. And as you can see, the quality of the PCBs are amazing. And we need few electronics components like charging modules, switches, voltmeter, accessory connector, on-off switches, volt meter, and so on. To connect the charging modules, here I am using this pin header because while charging, these charging modules often get hot. So I decided instead of direct solder into the board, it will be better to use these pin headers so that there will be a gap between the board and the charging module. Now I will connect all the push button switches to the board. By using these switches, we can turn on or turn off our charging. Now one by one, I will connect all the battery holders and these battery holders are specially made for 18650p cells. Now let's come to our bottom part of our PCB. Here for power input I am using XT60 connector and 2 pin screw terminals. And to monitor the input power supply I have added a voltmeter and a 10 pin DIP switch for control the cells and a mini voltmeter to measure the voltage of all the cells. To hide these wires and prevent any type of short circuit, I will add another layer of PCB and using some M3 spacer, it will be easier for me. And as you can see, after adding the second layer, we don't need any type of casing for our charging station and it just looks so amazing and so good. So now it's time for testing. So let's test our charging station and hopefully everything will be fine. To give enough power to our charging station, here I'm using my variable power supply and set it to 6 volt because after connecting all the batteries, my power supply won't able to maintain the voltage. There will be a voltage drop. That's why I have set it to 6 volt. In 18650 cells, this is the positive and that is the negative terminal. And while inserting the batteries, we have to make sure that all terminals should be connected in the right place. Otherwise, here you can see the power consumption of our station and using this DIP switch, you can check each and every battery's voltage. 
and after pressing the switch our battery will start charging and you can also monitor the power consumption here when i turn off the charging power consumption suddenly decreased and when i turn on the charging power consumption suddenly increased so let's add more cells into our charging station and let's see if it can able to charge all the cells or not Before putting them into charging, let's check the voltage of these cells. Here we have a total of 10 cells and we can check each cell's voltage individually. Let's suppose I want to check 8 number cells voltage. So for that, I have to slide the 8 number pin of DIP switch. As you can see, the voltage is 3.37 volt and let's check the 10 number and the voltage is 3.97. So let's charge all these batteries and as you can see while I'm turning on the switches the power consumption is gradually increasing but in heavy load my power supply won't able to maintain the output voltage so we are facing some voltage drop here. And after some time all the charging modules like get blue which means all our cells get fully charged. So if you have 18650 cells and you are looking for a fast and safe way to charge them then you can definitely go with this charging station because this charging station is loaded with lot of features and you can charge all your cells without any problem. So if you want this charging station PCB only you have to comment about this charging station whether you like it or not or why you need this charging station. Two lucky winners will able to get the PCB of this charging station and the winner will be published on my instagram after two weeks so don't forget to follow me on instagram link in the description and if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you have any suggestion for future videos feel free to leave them in comment box and also you can follow me on instagram and facebook all links are available in the video description thanks again for watching i will see you guys on my next video all PCB is the world's fastest PCB manufacturer and here you can get our first PCB prototype for only $1 and if you will join through my link then first 100 people will get $10 coupon so link in the description grab this offer and make your project more professional with all PCB